Welcome to Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. I'm Camilla, Business Development Dealer from Philip Futures. For this week's episode of Market Watch, I'll be focusing on crude oil, one of the top traded commodities. Crude oil prices have been on a sharp decline since the start of July, where the WTI has fallen about 17.7% to a 3-month low at 40.57 per barrel last Friday. Based on the chart, the MACD is showing a strong bearish downtrend. One of the fundamental reasons why oil prices hit a 3-month low is a surprise inventory figure from the US EIA where crude oil inventory increased by 1.7 million barrels last week. Analysts were actually expecting a decline of 2 million barrels and in fact, this is the first increase in over 2 months. According to EIA, the US crude oil inventory remains at a historical high level of 521.1 million barrels. Looking beyond basic fundamental factors, another big influencer for the fall in crude prices is the US dollar. Commodity prices are generally inversely related to the USD, and the rationale being a stronger USD makes dollar-packed commodity like oil more expensive to buyers using other currencies. People in those countries therefore cut back on its oil usage, which leads to a fall in oil prices. Therefore, conventionally, when the USD rises, oil prices fall. Based on the chart comparison, we can see that the inverse relationship of the US dollar and oil prices. After WTI hit a high of close to $52 in June, the USD gained about 4% while oil prices fell about 17%. With these worrying signs for the oil market, we have identified three key factors that may push the oil prices down to a low of $30 a barrel by the end of the year. Firstly, I believe that the fundamentals of weak demand and strong supply still will continue to weigh on oil prices. Prices. Just as US oil production is gradually falling to drain the oversupply, crude demand is about to take a plunge as refined oil product gasoline is massively oversupplied. The EIA reported that the US gasoline stockpiles are at its highest seasonal level since the 1990s. Refineries are the true consumer of crude oil and a glut of gasoline could weigh significantly on oil prices. American gasoline consumption typically slowed down in August and September as vacationers return home and refiners use that slump to shut down for seasonal maintenance. As you can see from the chart, over the past five years, refiners' demand for oil has dropped an average of 1.2 million barrels a day from July to October. With the current excess gasoline in the market, refiners may close their doors sooner and for a longer period of time during their seasonal maintenance, taking further demand out of the market. Secondly, the OPEC has reportedly boosted its production by 0.7% to 32.9 million barrels a day in June. The OPEC has increased production instead of freezing or cutting production to support the oil market. Therefore, I believe that the next OPEC meeting on 30th November would not yield much result in supporting oil prices. Furthermore, the supply disruptions such as the workers' strike in Kuwait, attacks in Nigeria and wildfires in Canadian oil sand are also great gradually easing, which adds to the concern of the current oil glut. Thirdly, the growing global market uncertainty could potentially push USD higher as a safe haven currency and in turn bring oil prices lower in the coming months. I've summarized it into three T's as follows. The first T, terrorism. The recent attack in the French city of Nice killed 84 people, which is the third major incident in the European country over the past 18 months, and it causes much concern globally. Second T, Turkey. Although the coup in Turkey failed at overthrowing the president, it might still cause political unrest and add anxiety in the market. Last but not least, the third T, Trump. Donald Trump will be running for the US presidential elections in November this year, where he will face Hillary Clinton, which could further add uncertainty in the market if Trump were to be elected as the US president. Therefore, in summary, given the massive oversupply in the refined product gasoline, coupled with the increased oil production from the OPEC countries, with the rising global uncertainty in the market, we expect crude oil prices to fall further over the next coming months to $30 a barrel by end of the year. With this, we have come to at the end of this week's edition of Market Watch. For more information on the risk and return of investing in the crude oil market, you may approach any representative from Philip Futures. Please subscribe to us on Philip Capital YouTube channel and Facebook and stay tuned for more Market Watch videos. Thank you.